Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 53, and this is War number two. And we're going up against an alliance called the Beyonders. <laughs> All right. Who did y'all ban? Count Nefaria, don't care. Uh, Ironheart, don't care. And Luke Cage, don't care. Globals are Shuri and Silk, don't care. All right. Let's uh, take a look here. Oh, I already see we're going to bring in a uh, Magneto. Ooh, I hate fighting this girl right here. Negasonic. I'll be curious to see who he has me uh, going uh, up against her. Maybe um, Lady Deathstrike. And then Vox, who does get armor up, so we need someone that can deal with that. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Gladiator can shut those down. I'm actually not sure. Um, Magneto, and then Doom can be whoever. All right, he has a spreadsheet up. So let's see what he did. So Negasonic, mm, I Doom. I don't really like using I Doom, um, but he will work. Uh, let's see, and then Vox Corvus. Okay, yep. That'll work. And then Future Ant-Man. Okay, Gladiator. And let's see. And then against Doom, Scorpion. I like it. Because I like Scorpion. Okay, so now, let's see. Did he have me? I'm trying to figure out why Gladiator instead of a Magneto. Let's see. Uh, Domino, he has me assigned to, wait, 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 no, he doesn't. Ah, there's why I Doom is, Domino, yes. So Domino, and he has me going up against her with I Doom. Okay, so it's this Domino right here. Incinerate, shock, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm I'm a little nervous about that one. So we'll see. I'm not I'm not confident with that one there. But we will try it. Let's see, Domino, yeah. So I Doom and poor Corvus. All you're going to use Corvus against with Vox. Okay. All right. We're going to we're going to try it with these uh assignments and we'll see if they work. The only one I'm really worried about is uh the I Doom against um Domino. Domino's a pain anyway. So we'll see. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with Corvus, Scorpion, and infamous Iron Man, a.k.a. I Doom. And let me start by saying I am not a fan of infamous Iron Man. I'm not. And later on, you'll see why. But anyway. First fight is going to be against Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And she can actually be a pain to fight. She has an evade. And you can't really parry her with most champions. Very, very annoying. And she is a tactic defender. So, we're going in with 
Corvus. She's a mutant, so, I mean, not Corvus, sorry. Um, infamous Iron Man, because he is a tactic attacker, and he can handle uh, her incinerate, as long as he has his armor up, and he can handle the power gain. In fact, it's good when she does a power gain, because then I can do this. Ooh. Mmm. Nasty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I remember I wanted to go in with Corvus, and Corvus could have done this fight and got a mutant uh, charge, but because that was a defender, a uh, tactic defender, decided not to. Now, we actually made a mistake, and I didn't catch it on the spreadsheet. So you saw the infamous Iron Man. Um, that was assigned to me uh, to take uh, Negasonic. Then it told me Corvus against Vox. Then later it mentions Gladiator against a champion. And then Scorpion against a champion. And so we didn't bring Gladiator. Fortunately, Corvus can do the fights that Gladiator was going to do. Um, but that was just a little oversight on my part. I didn't catch that uh, mistake on the spreadsheet. But so far, so far, so good. We're doing great. We got our uh, path uh, down. And I kept checking uh, to see how we were doing. and. Um, they weren't moving. They, they were going to move later. Now, I don't like fighting future Ant-Man with Corvus. You see me do this fight, and I'm always using Gladiator these days. Because with Corvus, he's still going to take damage. He can't really armor break to remove the armor up, or else it'll go to a passive. However, there is a way to fight future Ant-Man with Corvus that will reduce the amount of damage that you take, but you got to take things slow. So Corvus is going to take damage anyway because the bleed from this node has a direct damage effect. So while Corvus doesn't take any damage from the bleed debuff, he does take damage from the bleed effect, which is a direct damage. Yeah, it's funny, but it's been that way for years. Okay, so here's how I approach this fight. Take my time. See, there's an armor up. See how I did an armor break? But I'm doing it very slowly. See, look at this. Very slow, he doesn't have an armor. All right, as long as he doesn't have an armor. We're good. All right. Boom. Great. Great so far. Now, another way to remove and this right there, AI. And we're going to come back to how the AI treated me in this war. But that right there is just so much what's wrong with the game right now. That was way too fast of a recovery. Okay. So here, I'm not even playing with him. Just block. Okay. And you see the armor ups over there? But I was like, you know what? That shouldn't be too bad. But you see how I'm waiting them out? That will reduce the damage. And of course, I boost it up. So I got in several uh, special twos. Now, the first time I tried to fight Future Ant-Man with Corvus, I did not have much of my life left. I mean, I was down to like 5% of my health because I just went in and you take a bleed for every armor up. So if you let the armor ups build up and then you attack, you're going to take a lot of damage. So what you saw me doing there is how you need to fight him with Corvus if you decide to use Corvus uh, against him. So Corvus can work. Another way to remove the armor ups besides just waiting them out is to intercept him. That will remove the armor ups. 
But with the AI acting the way it does now, that's not a guarantee. So all in all, I would still rather use uh, Gladiator, but I now know how to fight him with Corvus so as not to take too much damage. Um, but I do have to boost up both ways. You know, if I use Gladiator, gotta boost up. Uh, the only time I don't have to boost up is when I'm using uh, Magneto. All right, so Doom's about to go down. Scorpion tears him up. I didn't even need to switch out. I usually switch out to Rupture. Um, I use the pre-fight because um, by default, he's shock and rupture immune. I run the ouchie masteries, recoil, double-edged, liquid courage. And so by um, choosing one of the other pre-fights, like rupture, I will then be um, shock and poison immune. So that reduces the damage that I'm taking from my um, Liquid Courage. Okay, here's the fight that I was worried about. He is immune to shock and, and, and incinerate as long as he has his armor up or whatever. And of course he's a tech, so he's not going to be unlucky. And so I'm like, all right we should be able to do this. You saw how I was able to use him before and I'm not playing with it. I'm going to boost up. Okay. Don't want to, um, you know, take any chances. All right. And I don't use, uh, the tech boost very often. So I'm just like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'll, um, refill, you know, later on. Okay. And so because I'm a little nervous about the fight, I'm like, hmm, let's do that invulnerability boost. Okay, just just in case. Okay. So, you know, it just timed out. All right. Now I want y'all to watch this fight. And um Oh, I think uh did I Yeah. I had to go get some help because I did not want to go in here um, with less than full health because Domino, okay? And I just I just know it's Domino. And they usually ban um, Lady Deathstrike because Lady Deathstrike would have ate her up, tear it up, okay? So anyway, um, went, got a quick... You know, a couple of uh, health potions, get them up to nice full health. Still have our invulnerability boost on. I made sure I double check that. And now we can go into the fight. Okay, so we start off. All right, here we go. Yep, regen, but I'm putting the shocks on her. That's good, whatever. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. Don't have to worry about being unlucky so I can evade that. We do the, um, you know, slide back. All right. Now here, I want her to have a lot of um, power. So I can do this. Boom. Rah. All right. Now, just need her to fire this special off. She don't want to fire it. All right. There we go. She fired her special. Great. So we're doing good. All right, yeah, look at this. We're doing great right here. And we're gonna be able to do, what was that? Hello? We were about to do another nice special, you know, a heavy into a special. Um, but what I believe happened there uh, when I was looking back, I think she was in her incinerate, uh, no, not incinerate, her shock phase. So she was immune to the shock. So when I went to do a heavy, she didn't have a shock on her. So she didn't get stunned. But as you see here, we're still good. So we just needed to fire this special. 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 All right, she don't want to fire it. Okay, fire the special. All right, no, still won't. No firing the special. What am I supposed to do? 
We were doing great. We had an invulnerability. It could have eaten this up. I don't really like infamous Iron Man, and I don't really like fighting Domino, especially when the AI will just sometimes not want to throw a special. Just holds the special till they get to a special three and then fire that off. It's not fun. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep on going. Okay. I went ahead and, um, you know, I said in my line chat, you know, one death, uh, you know, and I and I cut out the um, uh, the segment that fight and posted it up so they could see, you know, but of course, everybody is dealing with the same thing. Now, that was one death, right? So now I'm back. We got full health again or almost. And she don't have that much health left. OK. So this should be a, a pretty quick, quick one. Oh, she remembered how to throw a special. Isn't that nice? All right, so we're still going in. Okay, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 we good, we good. Oh, hey, she can throw specials, what do you know? Isn't it nice when they throw a special? Oh, nice evade. Okay, cool, cool. Look at my health. Oh, a miss. I'm like, really? Really? This is what we doing. This is what we doing today. Okay. Maybe this uh, special three will take her out. She's got what? 10% health left? Woo, look at that. Oh, yeah. Tan up. Down to 2%. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Go hit into my block. Barely. If I hadn't healed all the way back up, that would have been another death. Isn't she fun to fight? So anyway, that's going to do it for my participation in this particular war. And we'll be back and you'll find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. If you have been following our wars, you'll know that this is about par for the course. We seem to win, lose, win, lose. We may even lose two in a row, um, but we'll see. Shout out to our MVPs here. Um, but yeah, we just got spanked. What could I say? We just got spanked. All right, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama. Just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.